Hi everyone, my name is Katie Zontak and I'm the Cultural Arts Director at the JCC in Buffalo, New York. I want to thank you all for joining us for today's program. I'm particularly excited to have the opportunity to showcase two talented musicians, Robbie Hausman and Alfred Frenning. Robbie, our cellist, is a native of Western New York as, and has been the cellist in the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra since 1982. He studied at the Juilliard School with Harvey Shapiro and the Eastman School of Music with Paul Katz of the Cleveland Quartet. With his longtime pianist, Alfred Frenning, Robbie has enjoyed developing an extensive repertoire of music by Jewish composers. He plays a Carlo Antonio Testori cello made in 1710. Alfred, who is on the piano, enjoys a diverse musical career performing on violin, viola, cello, piano, and viola de gamba in recital, chamber, and symphonic orchestras. He has participated with the Erie and Buffalo Philharmonic, Western New York Chamber Orchestra, and Art Park Orchestra. Alfred has been the cellist at Shays Performing Arts Center for more than 20 years. So in just a few minutes, we'll be lucky enough to hear three beautiful pieces that these musicians have prepared for us. The second part of the program is to share some information about a wonderful partnership that the JCC has been invited to be part of, um, which will allow us to continue to provide more rich and diverse, diverse cultural programming. The Partnership Together program is a program of the Jewish Agency and the Jewish Federations of North America, promoting people-to-people -people relationships through cultural, social, medical, education, and economic programs. This partnership is between the 16 U.S. communities of the Central Area Consortium, Buffalo being one of them, thanks to the connection with the Buffalo Jewish Federation, Israel's Western Galilee, and Budapest, Hungary. So joining us today to speak about the partnership is Avital Bendoir, the coordinator of the community committee. For the past 11 years, Avital has worked in the Jewish Agency for Israel as a people-to-people -people coordinator in the Western Galilee Partnership Together. Her current role as the coordinator of the community committee is to manage volunteers and projects connecting Israel and the diaspora. One of the reasons that I asked Avital to be part of the event was because Robbie was lucky enough to go to Israel in the Western Galilee in 2019 and perform as a musician there. So Avital will be able to share a little bit more about um, his experience and, and show some photos and we'll be ready to enjoy that. So now I'm going to turn it over to Robbie and Alfred. Um, they will play two pieces for us, then Avital will do the presentation about the partnership and we'll conclude our event uh, with one final piece from our musicians. So please sit back and enjoy. Thanks so much.
Shalom, Erev Tov, for my friends in Israel and maybe Europe. Uh, that what we just played was a, the pastoral from six miniatures by Joachim Stuchewski. Stuchewski was a, uh, a composer born in Ukraine uh, for, into a Klezmer family in the end of the uh, 19th century. He then uh, studied and performed in uh, Vienna, and uh, right at the 1938, he immigrated to what was then Palestine and became an extremely uh, prolific and important composer in Israel. Um, in fact, a friend of mine described him as the Casals of Israel. So we're going to play uh, the next five movements of the uh, miniatures by Stuchewski. The titles of them are Granny's Tale, Jolly Dance, Song Without Words, Prayer, and Scherzino.
which I certainly hadn't heard of until a friend gave me this piece. Uh, the composer is Vladimir Dyk. He also was from Ukraine, born in 1882. But then he moved to Paris, where he had his career as a uh, teacher, composer. And he actually wrote for uh, French cinema. Um, but the work we're going to play is a Kaddish that he wrote in memory of his brother Jacques. Um, now, the situation in Paris during uh, the World War II obviously is well known, and uh, unfortunately, Vladimir Geek was one of those who was one of the thousands who was uh, deported to Auschwitz and was, was murdered there. But this is the Kaddish that's in memory of his brother Jacques.
Now, uh, happy to turn this over to Avital. Before I do, I just want to say it was how wonderful it was for me to have my first trip to Israel uh, and be able to do it as a uh, as a musician. It it was such a uh, meaningful experience for me uh, to go to Israel in that in that way. So please, Avital. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you. It was wonderful. And uh, first of all, I want to thank Robbie and Katie and uh, JCC of Buffalo for this wonderful event and for the opportunity to share what we do. So really thank you. And of course, for the Jewish Federation of Buffalo and uh, Executive Director Rob Gold Goldberg for this wonderful connection with Buffalo. So I'm Avital. Uh, I live in the Western Galilee in Israel, and I work in the Jewish Agency in partnership together for 11 years. And I want to take this opportunity to share with you and tell you about what we do, who we are and what we do, and about um, Robbie's visit and what they, the amazing things that they did during their visit here. So, um, our partnership, the partnership is a program of the Jewish Agency for Israel, which connects between uh, Jewish communities around the world with uh, uh, Israel. And uh, our partnership is with uh, the Western Galilee. Here we are. This is us. This is the map of Israel. This is us up here in the north, in the border of Lebanon. Uh, here's the map of uh, of our region, uh, we, uh, it's zoomed in. Uh, so we are um, connected with Akko, the city of Akko, which is on the shore and with Matesha Regional Council. And we are connected with 16 Jewish communities in the US. Uh, um, this map doesn't include the new, most new uh, communities that uh, joined our consortium, which are two wonderful communities in Illinois, and we are welcome them. They are Peoria and Springfield. Uh, so here we are, here's Buffalo. <laughs> and uh, the beautiful city of Budapest, Hungary. And here I am, now I'm here. I'm sitting at the office of the um, Partnership Center, which looks is located in a beautiful place in the northern north of Israel. And I welcome you all to come and uh, visit when we can uh, to visit this beautiful place, which is our offices. Um, well, this partnership uh, is all and all we do, I think it's all thanks to these wonderful, wonderful, beautiful ladies and uh, and thanks to more and more volunteers and uh, our staff. Uh, we have here uh, Efrat, she is uh, the Israeli chair from ACO. We have uh, Michelle Corinne from Indianapolis. And we have our incoming chair, Leslie Kramer from Buffalo, New York. And welcome, uh, Leslie. She's going to start uh, this January to be our chair. And we are very, very thankful to have her and we're excited to start working with her. We have Brachat Suriel, she is the um, consortium director and founded, founded this beautiful partnership. And we have Sharon Chayat, uh, uh, she is the director of our partnership. So we do many, many programs, uh, like uh, 37 programs we have. We work, uh, we are all aimed to connect between the communities. Uh, we have uh, medical committee, education committee, academia committee, young adults. Uh, all we do is to connect people to people and um, businessmen, everyone who are interested in connecting with Israel, with Western Galilee are welcome to join us. Um, I coordinate the community committee, which connects between the communities. And what we, we are, uh, here we are, <laughs> these, these are, my chairs, um, this is me, Avital. Uh, we have Noah Tene from the Western Galilee. Uh, we have uh, Nancy Barnett from Youngstown, Ohio, and Madonna Fishkin, she's our incoming chair from Peoria, Illinois. We do a lot of programs too. We are, um, 
we have uh, Café Anglite, if you want to learn uh, a second language, uh, uh, English, Hebrew, uh, Hung Hungarian, you're welcome to join us. Uh, we have, we are uh, connecting through the Global Day of Jewish Learning. We have a wonderful event on uh, November 8th. Um, we are bringing many, many events. Regularly, we're sending uh, delegations to the communities to to bring uh, Israel and uh, the Western Galilee to the to the communities. These days, uh, we're doing it virtual, and it's amazing what we are doing. Um, we have uh, also we are um, connecting virtual communities through passion, our passion to something like uh, if we are if we are like books, uh, if you like to read, you're welcome to join a book, our book club. Um, we are connecting uh, women through uh, Rosh Chodesh uh, events. Uh, if you're interested in any of these uh, um, programs, you're welcome to, uh, to connect with your federation and they will be happy to, to elaborate more. We have uh, uh, multicultural programs which connects uh, Jewish and Arab women and Jewish and Arab leaders in different programs. Um, we are uh, doing art programs with artists. We are trying to uh, create a, an artistic community, which uh, for, is with artists from the Western Galilee, from the US and uh, from Hungary. And this program, the Music Together program, is actually right in between the arts and the multicultural program uh, because it deals with art, music, and with, um, and with multicultural. And I will explain a little bit more about the multicultural part. So last December, I can't believe that it was only last December, 10 months ago, that you were here. Um, we had here Robbie Hausman, of course, you all know Robbie. Uh, we had uh, Gary Levinson from uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, he's a senior principal associate concert master of the Dallas Symphony Orchestra and the artistic director of the Chamber Music Society of Fort Worth. Uh, we had Ruth Mintz from Omaha, Nebraska. She is the executive director of the Omaha Conservatory of Music. Um, she came together with her husband, Ken Mintz. She's, he's also an orchestra conductor and master of music in trombone. And Judith from Hungary, she is a violin player at the Zolnok Symphony Orchestra. And Kim Gold, Goldberg, who is a um, very, very de dedicated volunteer of the partnership. And she, together with uh, Gary, they initiated this wonderful program. Um, to connect with the music institutions here in our region and to bring talented uh, musicians here to uh, help the, uh, bo both the ACO and the Matesha conservatories to, uh, to create uh, a multicultural orchestra for students. And, um, and they really did amazing, amazing things here in the region when they were here. Um, well, here are our partners. Uh, this is the, uh, the ACO Municipal uh, Conservatory. This, uh, they serve regu in regular days, they say they are serving over 705, uh, seven, 750 uh, students. Um, it's, uh, ACO is a multicultural city which has uh, Jewish, Christian, and Muslims and they are serving all of this population and they have different uh, departments for Arab music and, and vocal music, etc. And they're doing a lot of uh, performances, these students. We have the, um, another great partner of this pro for this program is the Matea Sher Music Center. Um, they are uh, a regional council uh, uh, center for music, uh, which are also uh, um, working in the schools of the municipality and they are serving over uh, 550 Jewish and Arab students. Um, during their visit, they met with Dr. Arna Rosnowski, who is a former uh, first violinist of the Israeli Philharmonic Orchestra. And she is taking musically gifted children from Israel 
uh, and from the most underprivileged areas. And she's giving them a chance to reach their potential. And uh, Robbie and the, and the group met her and the, her uh, wonderful students. Um, we also came to visit Keshe Teilon. Keshe Teilon is a very unique place. I don't think there is a, another place like it uh, in the world. Uh, it is an, a very remote place in the, the north, of, north of Israel. Um, and they're doing um, seminars for very talented uh, young uh, string players. Um, it's a very, very unique place, which uh, many very known uh, violinists uh, came to study there and uh, participated in their seminars, and now they are teaching. So what, what did the group did here? Um, as I said before, the, uh, the purpose, the main purpose of this visit was to create this uh, uh, orchestra for children, uh, multicultural orchestra. And uh, so Robbie and all the group uh, uh, taught the children how to play and they uh, helped them um, and they rehearsed with them. And at the end, we had the final concert. Uh, it was very, very exciting. Um, another great thing they did uh, was to play at the medical center, at the West Galilee Medical Center. Um, they played, uh, here they are with the uh, head of the hospital, which is the first Arab uh, doctor who is, uh, uh, who is now the director, first director of the hospital, which is an Arab doctor. Um, he's an amazing person and he talked with them and uh, they performed at the lobby of the hospital and uh, in the onco in oncology department and uh, Robbie can tell you how emotional that was for the patients, for the staff. It was quite an experience for everybody. Um, I, I put, I put a, a video here of uh, one of the concerts that they did, a sh very short uh, clip of the, one of the, their concerts. They did a home concert for the Friends of the Partnership uh, group and uh, in one of uh, our volunteers' homes. And uh, I just wanted you to hear uh, the way they played together because it was unbelievable. They, the, these art, these uh, musicians never met before. I mean, they just landed in Israel and we tell them, okay, now you're a quartet, start uh, play, playing together. And it was unbelievable how, uh, what, what amazing sound they produced and how uh, synchronized they were. And um, so I just, I wanted you to hear. It was a surprise, I think, for them. We had at this at the same time of their uh, visit here, we had a, um, a delegation of 100 women. Imagine that uh, from it was in December from uh, our consortium communities, and uh, uh, it was a part of the Momentum program. Um, and if you heard about that, and it brings mothers uh, to to Israel for. Uh, spiritual experience. And uh, they visited the partnership before they uh, went to their, to their uh, trip. And, uh, and we had uh, 10, 10 women from Buffalo and they met with Robbie and it was, I think, a surprise for everybody. So this is like uh, everybody that made it possible and amazing. Um, uh, we have here Danny Yaron, he's the head of the uh, ACO, ACO uh, Conservatory. We have Menachem, who is the head of the uh, Mateh Asher Musical Center. Judith, Kim, 
Ken, Ruth, Robbie, Gary, and Albert, who is also a very dedicated volunteer and he is uh, uh, the head of the um, economic development company in Aco. So this is the, the visit, their visit. And now we are talking about our next step, which uh, uh, is uh, exciting and challenging both because uh, we know that uh, we have to find uh, virtual solutions to, uh, to connect. And uh, we, are, um, we are inviting musical institutions in our partner city to connect with us. Um, we are planning to, uh, to have to, to write. A, we, we have so many dreams. We're planning to write a, a piece for the partnership and we are planning the students to learn this piece and to um, uh, connect uh, and, and, and do it together. And we, and we I, I'm, I'm sure with these wonderful people, it will all come true. Uh, so thank you for this opportunity again. And uh, I will uh, turn over the, um, the microphone <laughs> to Robbie again, to Robbie and Alfred, uh, who will play their final piece. Robbie. Thank you, Avital. It's so wonderful to relive those memories. Um, and I certainly hope to make more of them. Uh, there, was, uh, there were so many special times uh, during this trip. Um, I just remember going back to the, the hospital where we played. I, uh, in the one department, I had, there, we really had no room, and I was sitting on top of this a scale, a sitting scale. The violinist, the violinist and violist were standing. We were just crowded together, and we, we played, I think it was... Um, the, uh, the trio movement of the, um, the Dvorak American Quartet. And in the background, there was an elderly Russian uh, woman in, in bed. While we played, she was conducting, and someone managed to capture that on video. So what a, what a, what a just a, an amazing time. And then our, our uh, first violinist, Gary, who is from Russia, spoke to her and uh, it, it, it just, there's so many experiences. This all kind of started with, with um, when the um, Buffalo Philharmonic went to Poland and I made it a, I was determined to be able to play at Auschwitz in memory of my great grandmother who was killed there. And uh, that did come to be and, and um, so then when I went to Israel, it was my goal to find the name of the, 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 the man who, who tried to save my great grandmother, because um, on, on he has been uh, named one of the righteous among the Gentiles. Uh, he was a Catholic priest. His name is uh, Joseph Emmons. And um, I, I took great searching. The names are not even organized by alphabetical order, but there I found it. And it was, it was very meaningful to make that connection. Um, I want to, before we play our last piece, I want to thank um, Avital, who was just an amazing coordinator of our trip and for presenting today. Of course, Katie um, and, and Patricia here at the JCC. And an amazing volunteer, Marty Kirker, who has put all this audio together for us because is, I love playing, but I wouldn't have the slightest idea how to do this, uh, this uh, virtual business. So I hope it came out okay. Um, and of course, I want to thank Alfred, who is my uh, longtime musical partner, uh, helping me explore all these pieces. So the, our last piece for today is Mendelssohn's Song Without Words. And Mendelssohn uh, dedicated, and I believe he wrote this piece for a woman named Lisa Cristiani. And she was from France. She was in her early 20s, was really the, the first woman cello soloist to tour. And they played, they played this piece together. 
And in my mind, and from what I've read about Mendelssohn, that this may be really a love song. So this is Song Without Words. Robbie and Alfred, I feel like I first need to send you a, a round of applause because I know it must be kind of awkward to be performing and not getting the deserved uh, appreciation and hearing uh, the applause. So I'm sharing it to you from everybody that that was beautiful and amazing. And thank you so much. Um, I know it's a little, I don't know, I'm sure you remember, but a little over a year ago, you guys actually did a performance with two other musicians in that same theater to a sold out crowd and it was fabulous and as great as this is I am hoping that 
sooner rather than later we'll be able to do more performances like that. So, but thank you for making this possible and, and sharing your great gift with us. Um, I'd also like to thank Avital again for joining us today um, and sharing all the hard work that you do with the partnership. Um, clearly in your presentation, uh, it's apparent how um, passionate you are about the things that you're doing and, and the wonderful programs. So um, I'm looking forward to connecting more and bringing more of the Buffalo community to things that you're doing as well as um, creating more programs. So looking forward to that. Um, I just also want to thank our sponsors. We have um, our cultural arts sponsors. So uh, a thank you to the JCC, the County of Erie, the Cullen Foundation, the Lewis and Molly B. Wolk Foundation, m and Bank, Buffalo Jewish Federation, the Town of Amherst, the Ann and Benjamin Kaiser Memorial Fund and the Golden and Goldman Philanthropic Fund. Um, our programs definitely rely on all the support, so we wouldn't be able to do what we do without them. Um, and as Robbie mentioned, a huge thank you to Marty Kirker who volunteered his time to do the setup of our sound and video, as well as Patricia Quinn, who's doing the back end for our Zoom and, and live stream today. It's certainly you wouldn't think it, but um, these virtual events take just as much planning and, and uh, a whole team behind it to make it all happen. Um, I also just want to encourage everybody, if anybody's interested in finding out more virtual events that the JCC is offering, um, we're currently in another partnership with the National JCC Literary Consortium, uh, which is being led by the Marcus JCC of Atlanta, and we're presenting a book fest all the way through December 31st. There's over like 30 amazing authors and events to participate in, and the entire schedule can be found um, on the JCC website, which I have on the screen for you there www.jccbuffalo.org. And as I just mentioned, um, our musicians were live today in the Maxine and Robert Seller Theater, which is our theater at the Benderson JCC building. It's a beautiful space. And the Jewish Repertory Theater does uh, typically does a three play season. Um, and this year they've adapted and they're presenting a five uh, season of five staged readings that they are professionally having recorded and performed and will make available for people to watch in the comforts of their own home. So I encourage you again, um, we're, we're doing the best that we can to make um, all these programs continued through these times. Um, you can buy a season subscription or individual tickets. So also please take a look at their website um, or you can find it on the JCC's website as well. So in closing, I just want to say I hope everybody enjoyed everything today. Um, thank you again for joining us. Please continue to support and participate in our programs. And I look forward to seeing everybody in person soon. And um, just stay well. Thank you, everybody.